mm. the choice to, you know, try to pass it. It hasn't been able to be passed. All right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I would be just, it would just be speculative yeah. on my part. And, and if I could throw something else in the mix with respect to that, in all honesty, I, I am, I'm not so sure they were against it. I know that they behaved like they were against it, but it was clear it was going to go through. Right. And so sometimes in politics, it's, you know, for, for some group of constituents, it has to look like you're on one side. There's a, a tremendous amount of money going to be made from insurance companies that's right. as part of this. And I'm not saying that to say that that's the reason it's there, but there's some very powerful people in this country that are not the politicians that want to see this go through. Mm -hmm. And so you all know that where, where there's power, there's money. And where there's money, there's politicians mm -hmm. with their hands out. And so I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not real sure that everybody that acts like they was against it are really against it. You know, so because there is there's a tremendous amount of money to be made, and they were clear, they were really clear that there was no way they could shut that down. That they, in fact, you know, the governor shut down and the, and the Affordable Care Act continued to go. So, you know, I, I don't know. I, I'm just a suspect about that really being an issue. They put up a good a good front, you know, but it's still in effect. And as you say, it's been around for several several uh, several years. Uh, uh, Bill Clinton. Wanted to, because it was really a big thing with Hillary Clinton oh. when they were in the White House. She was in favor of it. Uh, somehow, again, an African American president, I'm very proud of that African American president, was able to get the right people in the right places at the right time and with the right understanding to, to make it happen. But I'm not absolutely so long that they did not want it to happen. Right. I'm an what you asked Marvin if I understand you correctly. I'm, I'm with uh, Dr. Hickey on that one. Um, and Constant County also. But if we remember, the business of America is business. Yes. That's the bottom line. The business of America is, a bu is business. And there's a lot of money flowing through on this uh, Affordable Care Act. At the time when it, it passed, uh, there was a uh, majority uh, Democratic House and Senate, so it was easy to get it through. But eventually, it's just the dollars that are going to be flowing through. And it's our, it's our responsibility, though, even though it is for money, to make sure that we, we do with the Affordable Act, Care Act what needs to be done. And that is to keep, take care of our communities and our people. Sadi for Nipi Duzi. Asante, for um, all your uh, excellent information that you've given out. Um, it's been really... Uh, very informative, and some new points came out that um, I didn't know before. I want to ask, I didn't hear anyone mention about the expansion of uh, Medicaid in, in the Affordable Care Act. And I think that for a lot of our community, that part of the uh, program is going to be key. And I think that people need to know that they might have access to health care, even though they don't have, you know, they might be thinking, well, I know I'm going to have to pay something, you know, and so they might be reluctant, but they might be able to be under the Medicaid program. I know all the states didn't um, sign on to it, but I know California did, so I want to ask if you could speak to that. Amanisha, did you want to start the discussion? No, we'll go to Sunday, um, Sunday, Sunday, appreciate what you asked if I understand you correctly. Yes, there is an expansion, expansion of Medi-Cal. What will happen is when you go apply for Cover California, there will be a dual eligibility that will go on. It will see if you are apply for Medi-Cal and or if you, or if you apply for, if you qualify for Cover California. It's, it's expanding across the age, age and income, and I don't have the specifics right now, but it does expand. Um, along those lines. Also, some of the benefits before they cut out, uh, they cut out podiatry, they cut out some of the vision services, those are coming back. So yes, there is an expansion of the, of the uh, Medi-Cal. Uh, there was one other, I uh, kind of lost my train of thought there. But um, also with the, with the uh, preventive services again, that does, uh, will be expanded upon. So things like mammograms, colonoscopies, 
all of those preventive services that will help our community yes. are involved in that expansion. So yes, it, it, there's an expansion of the Medi-Cal benefits. I, I wanted to throw in real quick before the mic got here too, uh, that, and she kind of alluded to it, is that we want people to go to, the, to, to get assistance to sign up. When you sign up, the website itself will let you know whether you qualify for Medi-Cal. So you don't have to do anything different or separate. So we know that some people, because of their income, will qualify for Medi-Cal. And so what we want to do as leaders is we want to say, everybody just go sign up. It'll let you know. You know so as she had mentioned earlier in her presentation, there's a one door. You mentioned it's one door. When you go, if you qualify for Medi-Cal, it'll let you know you qualify for Medi-Cal. Mm -hmm. And then she's absolutely right. There's some expansions. There's some changes with respect to foster kids and Medi-Cal. And so there's a number of changes. But the good thing about it in California, with CoveredCA.com, covered is some of these issues that you're hearing about on the news about the website not working. Well, that's not California. Mm -hmm. California's is doing well. Mm -hmm. There were some hiccups at first. As with anything new, new uh, particularly of this magnitude, there were some hiccups, but it's working well. But the important thing that she pointed out is this one door. You go in, you put in your zip code, you put in your age, you put in the, the number of people in your family, and you put in your income, then it's going to tell you all of the things that you qualify, all of the plans that are available to you. And as she was saying, uh, you'll see what the prices are for the bronze, the gold, the silver, and the, what's the brown, gold, silver, and platinum. And... If you qualify for Medi-Cal, we'll let you know that. And then, of course, Medi-Cal will pick it up. The, the uh, certified enrollment counselors can assist you into getting into that door if you qualify. So the important point that you're making is that, one, there are some expansions. There's some improvements in Medi-Cal. And the other point is that, but for all of our people, they can go through one door and they'll find that out. You know, they don't have to say, well, I don't, I don't know whether I'm from Medi-Cal. I don't know if I'm from California. You just go in that door with that assistant, uh, that enrollment counselor, and then it'll let you know. So that's an important part. I thank you. I just wanted to add one thing about the expanded Medi-Cal. Now you can be on Medi-Cal and you don't have to have children. Before you had to be a mother, have children. Now you can be on it if you don't have any children. So it's just, they've expanded it across the... Um, may I add... Uh... One second. Just got to sign in. Maybe something. Um, do you, anyone know, I know there was income. Like before with Medi-Cal, you had to be like under certain income, and I think that income was was raised. Does anybody, you know, any of the panelists have an idea of what that amount? I know 138 percent of the poverty level, up to 138 percent of the poverty level. And I, I have to admit, I don't know what it was before that, but right now it's at 138 percent of the poverty level. And again, that's based on your family size. The poverty level, that the poverty level is based on your family size. Can I throw in another thing too that I was thinking about from our last discussion about, about whether they wanted the Affordable Care Act to go through or not. I want to qualify that a little bit. While I believe that they absolutely wanted it to pass, that doesn't necessarily mean they wanted us to do what we need to do. So I wanted to make sure that I made that distinction. Yes, they want because believe it or not, the people that are going to benefit, other people that don't might not look like us are surely going to benefit right. tremendously. Yeah, right. You know, I was saying right. over at UCLA and right. Westwood, there's a whole lot of folks in Brentwood, yeah. and the fellows that they, they saw already signed up, so they, they know they're going to benefit right. them. That's so right. while they may not have real issues about it being there, it is really up to us and our leadership and our community to make sure that we benefit, because they ain't looking out for us. That's right. Okay. Okay. In Perduzzi, Thabiti, sister, you had a question? Say your name. I thought I saw your hand go up. It didn't? Okay. She's waving at me. Oh, she's waving at me. Very good. In Perduzzi. I'm sorry. She said in the panel presentation, and if I understood that uh, correctly, I just want to say a uh, sign to all of you for your excellent uh, presentation. And